Champion swimmer Michael Phelps is in more hot water as a result of a photo of him smoking from a bong. He's being suspended from USA Swimming now for three months, which means that his funds from the organization are also being cut for that time. Kellogg's is going to be not renewing his sponsorship deal at the end of this month. And we've got Phelps' first television interview. I've clearly made some bad, you know, bad judgments and, and mistakes in my life, and, and you know, I, th I can... I think the best thing is, is you know, learn from your mistakes. And, uh, you know, that's already what I've done and, and what I continue to do. Joining me live from Baltimore is Kevin Van Valkenburg, the sports reporter for the Baltimore Sun. So, Kevin, with a good morning. I know you were the first to interview Phelps after the infamous picture was leaked. Um, with this suspension from USA Swimming, how does that affect him? Well, it basically means that he's not going to be able to compete in a couple of minor meets that uh, he was looking forward to just sort of getting back in a little bit. It's, it's in some ways kind of a more of a symbolic suspension because if, if USA Swimming really wanted to punish him, they would maybe suspend him for six months so he couldn't compete in the World Championships or even their Nationals this mm -hmm. summer. But really, I think that they wanted to sort of send a message to sort of corporate America, to all the kind of people out there who are upset about this without really kind of... Uh, slapping their their biggest star on the wrist too hard. Yeah, and of course, if he is considering competing for the 2012 Olympics, you want to keep him going on that sort of a, a level. Is that the case? Do you know if he's going to be g considering it, or if he might not be now? And if so, was it because of this incident? Well, you know, when he when I talked to him at uh, Meadowbrook Pool, where he trains here in Baltimore. He seemed a little bit sort of um, introspective, which is not a, a typical sort of emotion for him because uh, it's sort of being who he is is, is sort of more uh, just straightforward kind of. And he, he was thinking a lot about, you know, whether this kind of scrutiny in his life was all worth it. I mean, mm. whatever Michael does in 2012, it's not going to top what he did in Beijing. And he knows that on some level. And so he's mulling over kind of what he wants to do. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people who really uh, want him to compete in 2012 and he doesn't necessarily have to do that for his legacy so I, I think maybe it was a little bit of fatigue and frustration talking and I, I suspect that you'll see him in 2012 yeah. uh, but you know I, it's interesting that he's thinking about maybe not. I'm curious Kevin with regard to Kellogg's not renewing their sponsorship with him at the end of this month how much was that deal worth and how much is he worth overall? You know it's unclear they, they try and keep all that kind of secret um, his agent has talked about you know that Michael is is could be worth as so much as hundred million dollars over the sort of next 15 20 years of his career which is a sort of a staggering number I think the estimates that what he brings in yearly is any between where between five and twenty million dollars right now mm. um, especially sort of striking it right hot right after the Olympics um, the Kellogg's deal you know it's it's sort of um, up in the air I don't that certainly wasn't one of his biggest deals Kellogg is a is a USOC sponsor and they sort of partner with athletes around the Olympics to sort of you know try and get their brand promoted and whatnot and right. that deal was expiring at the end of this month um, and so there was really no agreement between Phelps and, and them to, uh, to renew it yet so they probably would have had to begin some more negotiations yeah. I'm sure Michael would have would have liked to renew it just because it's it's more money and more well, opportunity sure. but this uh, kind of put the kibosh but, on that possibility yeah, that's for and sure. It yeah. gives Kellogg's a chance yeah. to sort of say we're taking a, a strong moral stance and you know without okay. really uh, costing themselves a lot. So. All right, Kevin Van Valkenburg, thank you very much from the Baltimore Sun. Appreciate that. Thank you. Now, did any